Hi everyone, my name is Trevor Doherty and I'm a research student in the School of Biological and Health Sciences at the Technological University of Dublin and a member of the ML Labs SFI Centre for Research Training. Today I'd like to briefly introduce you to my research area which spans fields including machine learning, genetics and bioinformatics. The research involves a comparison of feature selection methodologies and learning algorithms in the development of a DNA methylation based telomere length estimator, and I've worked on this with my supervisors, Dr. Therese Murphy and Professor Sergei Angelini. Currently, there is a revolution in computational biology, with examples including the rapid design of COVID-19 vaccines and the solution of the COVID folding problem. In recent years, the development of epigenetic clocks has become a hotbed of activity. These clocks estimate the actual biological age of a person, which can be markedly different to their chronological age. Epigenetic clock age is typically defined by associations with adverse health outcomes, including all-cause mortality, and can be used to aid disease risk stratification. Like epigenetic clocks, which are DNA methylation-based estimators of age, our research similarly involves development of a DNA methylation-based estimator, in this case, an estimator of telomere length. At the end of each chromosome in our cells is a cap-like structure called a telomere. Like the plastic tip at the end of a shoelace, telomeres protect DNA from fraying. However, over time, telomeres shorten, DNA unravels, and ultimately cells die. As such, telomere length itself is a hallmark of age. DNA methylation is a chemical modification of the DNA sequence that can affect gene regulation. Our research involves utilizing DNA methylation levels from over 430,000 sites along the human genome to estimate telomere length and our work contributes to leading research in the field of aging biology. From observing current research in this area, we can see that many studies investigated a single or limited range of feature selection approaches when developing estimators. Therefore, we wish to test a broad range of techniques, including methods that were commonly used in the field and some that were not used to date, in order to investigate how their performance compared in the case of telomere, telomere length estimator. <clears throat> Models were developed using a wide range of feature pre-selection methods in advance, primarily of elastic net regression. Methods evaluated involved Pearson correlation, mutual information, random forest feature importances, and principal component analysis, amongst others. Models were tested using nested cross-validation on the discovery data set, with further generalization being interrogated using two independent cohort test sets from other populations and laboratories. Using the best discovered estimators, we performed correlation and association analysis using the telomere length estimates and various subject clinical and phenotypic data such as age and blood cell concentrations. Just to touch briefly on the results, we observed substantial variation in performance of DNA methylation-based telomere length estimators, depending on the feature pre-selection method used. Additionally, it was shown that depending on the feature selection technique, the number of features remaining in estimators and the correlation with actual telomere length vary considerably. <clears throat> in conclusion, uh, we saw that PCA with lasting net regression is the best performing estimator when evaluated on a nested cross-validation analysis and two independent test cohorts. The baseline model of lasting net regression, no prior feature reduction stage performed worse, suggesting prior feature selection is important. The variance in perform, performance across tested approaches shows that estimators are sensitive to data, data set heterogeneity and the development of an optimal DNA methylation based estimator should benefit from the robust methodological approach used in our study. And we observed that different DNA methylation based telomere length estimators which have few common features, uh, CPGs in this case, are associated with many of the same biological activities. That concludes our presentation. And if you'd like to meet for more about our research, you can view our paper at the following link or scan the QR code. Thank you very much.